In this video, I want to go through the installation and running of a program called Malware Bytes. Now, Malware Bytes is a great program for removing spyware. Um, you can get it from malwarebytes.org or find a link to it from our site, which is cnetsys.com, under helpful links. And this program will remove the bulk of the spyware that's on your PC. Um, you know, spyware, there's no governing body behind. Uh, spyware. It's not like a virus where if one company finds a virus it has to let all the other virus companies know about that virus and they kind of work together um, to find the best solution and, and to actually remove the virus and get the definitions out there. Spyware doesn't work that way. When one company finds spyware they keep it as their trade secret um, and they know how to remove it. They don't share that information with the other companies out there unfortunately. So we don't recommend buying a spyware program simply because none of the spyware programs out there will get or catch a hundred percent of the spyware that's out there so using these free utilities um, I feel is the best way to clean your system and you're not gonna run just one you're gonna run you know four five six different ones to clean up spyware that's on your system malware bytes uh, is a broadsword and it cleans the vast majority of what's out there and sometimes it'll clean a hundred percent of what's out there so um, it's usually the first tool we we use to remove spyware um, after running something like CCleaner. CCleaner will get rid of all the temporary uh, files um, you don't want to go through a scan and have to scan all those temporary files over again you want to um, remove them and, and shorten the length of time it takes to scan. So basically we've gotten the install, we're gonna install it, or we've gotten the file to install, we're gonna install it. And you're just gonna accept the defaults here for the most part. Next, all the way through, we want to create a desktop shortcut. You may or may not want to do that. It'll still create the shortcut in the start menu and we want to launch it and we also want to update it. Um, any spyware program is only as good as the uh, definitions it has and so um, every time you run it you absolutely want to get the latest definitions for it, get the latest files for it and in fact we're going to go through we're going to download the latest version um, which it's saying from the point that we had the executable to install it to now there's actually been some revision changes which I would expect we're gonna say okay but I'm also going to go into update as the first thing I do inside this program I'm gonna check for updates again um, even though it's telling me that the date is today uh, I have had it do the update and I've gone to check for updates and it's actually given me a new version so I do this every time I run the software now there's different settings in here um, Typically, all you're going to do is you're going to go in and you're going to run the software itself. You're not going to change any of the settings. You're not going to go into the quarantine or the logs. Um, you're not going to ignore anything. So really what I do is load the program, go into scanner, and then you want to perform a full scan, especially if your system is, uh, is infected or you feel that it's infected. Always do a full scan. It'll go through every file location, not just the most common. Um, and programs like Malware Bytes and some of the other programs that we recommend, uh, they are so good that we blindly remove anything that they find. Um, I've never, never had an instance where I've removed something that was a legitimate good program. Um, so I've never had a false positive with this, in other words. So this is a clean system where I go ahead and run a full scan. It's not going to find anything because it's brand new. Um, but in your system, you would find that go through or, or in a system that's been on, you're typically going to have something on there. Um, if you don't, great. But when you do, let it remove it. And so we'll go through, this will go ahead and do the scan and it'll show you files that'll come up and it'll give you check marks next to them. You're going to go ahead and make sure there's a check mark next to every item that's there and you're going to say remove selected blindly. Don't bother going through the list. Everything that's there is something that should be removed. And uh, go ahead and remove everything, reboot, see if it's any better if you were having a problem or go on to the next uh, 
spyware utility to run to make sure that uh, you know you've caught everything. It's always good to run a couple different programs, especially if you're experiencing a problem, to make sure you get rid of everything that's there. Okay, Mailerbytes has actually stopped scanning now, and it's given us a log. We'll go ahead and get out of that log, and it's going to tell us that uh, the scan's complete, no malicious items were detected, um, that the log file has been saved. We'll click OK. If it did find things, you would see that it would come up with a list again um, that would allow us to select them, and you would just simply make sure there's a check mark in each box and go ahead, select it, and then click on the remove selected button and it'll go ahead and remove all those items. You may also find that sometimes it can't remove it or it's going to ask you to do a system reboot. Go ahead and reboot it um, and then whatever it can't remove either run a different utility or run malware bytes a second time. Sometimes it'll remove a portion of it but it won't remove all of it uh, but because you've removed some of it and now rebooted um, it may remove the entire program this time around or you may find that you need to go into safe mode and run it from safe mode and that sometimes helps um, if that doesn't work try a different program uh, if that doesn't work bring it into us we can help you take care of it